Michael, come on. I think you need to hurry up. There's a line forming here. All right, Jeff. Have everybody back up. I'm going to rappel down. Whew. That was fantastic. Here, Jeff, you can use my harness. It's a little sweaty. They had it cinched up tight in the groin, but go ahead. Have fun, buddy. Hey everybody, it's Michael and Jeff, and we are excited to welcome you to our Spring Super Saturday. You know, back in January at our last Super Saturday, we predicted that 2014 was gonna be a big year for Team Beachbody, and so far, things are looking pretty good. Well, I think pretty good might be an understatement. We must have broken every record during the first quarter. Well, we started the year really strong in January as coaches set their goals for 2014. We had a whole bunch of coaches that decided to sign up for next year's big trip to the Moon Palace Resort in Cancun, Mexico. And in January, we awarded 265 thousand resort dollars to help pay for those trips. Well, it definitely got easier to earn those success club points by starting challenge groups with our popular new products like Focus T25 and P90X3 and the unbelievably popular launch of Strawberry Shakeology. But then things really exploded in February. <laughs> yep, we learned that mixing our newest program, the 21 Day Fix and the Team Beachbody Cup is definitely an explosive combination. I mean, we had huge numbers, almost 10,000 success club qualifiers, over 1,300 success starters, and over 5,300 coaches earned a Team Cup prize. Plus, we paid out over 13 million dollars in commissions and bonuses just in February alone. Those are impressive numbers. Well, really incredible. And Michael, I know you had a personal best too. I did? Well, I heard that you made it to eight foot three inches on the rock climbing wall. <laughs> well, well, actually, it was eight foot three and three quarter inches. But, you know, I was trying to keep that quiet. How did you hear about it? Well, that? somehow word got out on the cruise. But speaking of the cruise, those coaches that joined us last month on the SS Beach Body really had an incredible time. They were packed workouts with our trainers, coaches meeting on the pool deck to what they said share business tips, okay? <laughs> An elite party, premier party, great breakout sessions with Carl, with our celebrity trainers and our elite 10 coaches. It was all Beach Body all the time, and that ship was rocking. You know, it was a ton of fun. And if you haven't signed up for our trip to Cancun, it is not too late to get on the wait list. And remember, we prioritize the wait list based on total success club points for the year. So get on the list, start earning success club points, which of course also earns you resort dollars to offset the price. And there is a very good chance that you will be partying with us at the Moon Palace. And Jeff, do you know what the one first quarter record that we haven't mentioned yet? Don't keep me in suspense. All right, well, we welcomed over 50,000 new coaches in the first three months of the year. That's incredible. And, it, and you know, with all of these new coaches, we thought that it would be a great idea to concentrate this Super Saturday on our first vital behavior, inviting. And today, we're going to go a little deeper. As you develop your team of customers and coaches, you want to be enrolling people who will be successful and productive. You know, you're right, Jeff. I mean, just signing up people, that doesn't really get you anywhere if they're not gonna be productive. And to get productive coaches and customers, inviting has to be more than just firing off a few emails or, or posting that you're gonna start a challenge group. I inviting is more than an activity, it's a process. Well, it's a process, and that process really boils down to three parts attracting, connecting, and engaging. You need to always be attracting new people. Then you need to connect those people to a solution that will get them the results that they're after. And finally, you need to keep them engaged after they get their results. Because it's those results are what is going to build their belief system in what Beachbody can do and it will make them natural advocates and likely future productive coaches. Well, we're lucky to have three great coaches. Melanie Mitro, Amber Scott, and Lindsay Caterino join us on today's Super Saturday. They're gonna share the success that they've had with attracting, connecting, and engaging. Let's take a look. As a Beachbody coach, there are so many directions that you can go with your business. There's a plethora of avenues you can master. 
It is easy to become overwhelmed with Facebook, Instagram, websites, blogs, YouTube, shake and share events, and fit clubs. We wanna do them all, but whenever we spread ourselves too thin, we can't do anything really well. That is the key to building a business with credibility and noteworthy content. It is finding your niche, developing your brand, and growing that brand in one area until you're an expert, then exploring other avenues along the way. So let me just give you some backstory on myself. You only see me right now, but what you don't know is where I was three years ago. I was not at my weight loss goal. I knew zilch about social media. I used Facebook to connect with my family and friends, and I had no idea what network marketing really was. I became a Beachbody coach because I wanted to help people. I have this passion for clean eating, and I taught myself how to plan my meals, and I really wanted to share that with other people. I found that the more recipes I shared, the more people started to follow me. The more I shared motivation for how they could live healthier lives and how truly easy it was, people began to ask me questions. I created this presence on Facebook around nutrition and healthy eating. I attracted other moms to my business who were struggling with the same post-baby weight loss or how to make healthy meals for your kids that they would actually eat. So when I put out my challenge group invites, it wasn't awkward or uncomfortable because people trusted me and they knew what I was doing. I should also note that I am deathly afraid of randomly messaging people to invite them to join a challenge group. I have always from day one ran the complete opposite way when someone tries to sell me something. So that is first and foremost in my mind every time I have a conversation with someone, I always think to myself, how can I attract others to me so that I don't have to go out there and find them? My goal is to listen, to soak up what people are struggling with, and then to share with them how Beachbody programs, Shakeology, and challenge groups have totally changed my life. The more I shared the non-scripted details of my journey, the more emotionally connected people became to me. They let their guard down and trust form naturally. But if from the get-go, all you do is send people a link to your website, you've lost them. At that point, they just see a price and they make a decision before they have all the facts. They're not emotionally invested and there is no value added. Remember, people are purchasing a brand that is you and the product is the added benefit. When you are creating a social media presence, think to yourself every single day, how can I post things of value and things that are eye-catching and informative so other people will engage in my page or will ask me for help and see me as the expert? I like to give people tips from the challenge group guides, the meal planners, such as, you should aim to drink half your body weight in ounces of water each day, so that they can begin to see me as a resource for fitness and health information. Don't force what is working for others onto yourself. Do what feels natural for your business and best represents you. How do you know what best represents you? Well, something that I do with my coaches is make a list of characteristics that define them. I ask, what makes you unique? What are your hobbies, your interests? Are you married, single, or dating? Do you love to ski, fish, hike, or shop? Are you motivated, driven, shy, outgoing? Are you a natural leader or follower? Then create the visual of that person in your mind that you want to attract, the person that is more like you. When you are writing your post and advertising for challenge groups, you want to write it as if you are speaking to that person. And without a doubt, you will draw those people to you. You will create a team of like-minded individuals who all push for a common goal. Setting the stage like this creates trust, it adds value, and it saves you from having to build that trust when somebody else approaches you. So be vocal, don't hold back, share your struggles, your triumphs, ask for your followers' feedback, and the more you are real and paint the picture that we can all do this, the more relatable you will be. Oftentimes, I see coaches do so much work to attract people to them, to find people, to seek them out, and then they fall apart during the conversation. If they knew how to really connect with the people they were trying to help, it could solve a lot of issues. Here are some of the things that I do to connect with people. My first piece of advice is not to rush. During the first interaction, it's crucial that you ask about them. I often ask what posts they saw that made them reach out, what they are working on, or what made them hit send on the message today. You'd be surprised what people will say and how much insight it will give you into what they need from you. If you rush into talking about yourself or the business, you will miss this. You must ask questions. I ask questions about their likes and dislikes. 
their goals be on the scale, what programs they have at home, limitations, struggles, support systems, and more. I want to know how they will feel when they reach their goals. I want to give them a chance to be heard and also to dream a little bit. Then you must listen. It doesn't work to ask questions just for the sake of asking them. You have to listen to the answers and think carefully in order to decide which solution is going to be the best fit for them. One important way to show that you are listening is to repeat back what they said to reiterate their goals. Another great way to connect is to share your story and be real. You're not perfect. Most coaches are not done with their transformation and that's okay. People don't want someone who is perfect. They want someone they can relate to and gives them hope. Remember, you're not an expert. You're a friend, a mentor, a partner, and a leader. I tell my coaches all the time, you are not a brochure. If all I needed was information, they would just ask Google and make their decision without you. The most important thing that you can do while having a conversation is to consistently build value. I focus on what they get for being part of a challenge group, such as a private group on Facebook, their own challenge buddy, daily access to me, easy to follow meal plans, and simple fitness programs. I rely more on the benefits like support, accountability, education, and friendship. In many cases, you should put more emphasis on the benefits of the group that speak to what they need from the questions you ask them. For example, if I'm talking to someone and they tell me they have no support system at home, I'm going to talk more about the support that I can provide and the support the other members of the challenge group will provide to help them achieve their goals. Now, if you've been connecting with people, building value, and asking questions, but the conversation goes silent, don't take it personally. People get busy, conversations drop off, life happens. One way to prevent the dead conversation from happening is to set expectations from the start. If you send them a video to watch or questions to answer, let them know when you'll be following up. You can simply say something like, here's the video I promised you. I'll follow up with you on Thursday at 2 p.m. to see what you thought. What's great about this is that it eases tension for everyone. You don't have to feel uncomfortable about following up and worrying that you're being pushy, and they know what your expectations are. If they can't meet those expectations, they'll let you know. They might tell you Thursday doesn't work for them, but Friday would be great. If you're past that point, don't be afraid to follow up. When you do follow up, do so with urgency, but continue to make it about them. I like to say things like, I'm holding your spot. Today is the last day to join us, and I didn't want you to miss out. This creates urgency without being rude. It forces them to give you an answer either way, which frees up your time to work with other potential challengers and coaches. Once you get to the point when someone has opted into your challenge, make sure you give clear direction. Many people get lost in the purchase process because it might be confusing or difficult for them. When giving direction, first reiterate their goals and explain why you're recommending this product and group. Make sure that instead of just giving them a link to your website and telling them what to buy, you give them a direct link to the product you recommended. Keep your message short, simple, and clear. End with building value once again by pointing out the most important benefits to them. I know this process can sound lengthy, but it's really not. Genuinely connecting with people is the best way to help them achieve their goals, and it's the fastest way for you to achieve yours. As coaches, our goal is not to only get our customers to buy challenge packs, but more importantly, to see our clients and coaches through to success. We want Beachbody to become a part of their lifestyle way beyond the challenge group. As our mission states, our goal is for them to live healthy and fulfilling lives. And the key to seeing them over the finish line is continuing to follow up and engage them throughout the process. There are three stages that all coaches need to engage with their customers and follow up. I'm going to give you tips for each stage. The first stage is to keep them engaged during the challenge group. I first like to establish their why for starting this journey. And I get really specific and I help them dig really deep. The more this journey is tied to a why, the more committed they will be when things get challenging. I then talk about their new routine. When will they work out? Maybe what time of day or the days per week? Send them the challenge participant guide for review. Talk about throwing out those things in the pantry that will tempt them and encourage them to tell their friends and family about their goals and their new routine so they can get the support from home that they need. Remember to always celebrate successes. Everyone needs a good success story to keep them pushing towards their goal. Give a lot of high fives. Share Beachbody transformation photos 
as well as testimonials from your group. I like to have a daily theme. It gives them a starting point for every day's contribution. Encourage posting photos of their shake. Maybe share a favorite recipe, something they're thankful for that week, a motivational quote that's inspired them, or maybe a post-workout selfie. Oftentimes, if they are used to visiting for the daily or weekly topics, they will often post things like their challenges and their victories and use the group more actively. The second stage for following up is when they aren't participating or engaged in their challenge group. Early on in the group, if they're not participating, I text or message them and ask them if they have seen the group yet, if they know how to use it, if they wouldn't mind dropping in and saying hi, because we all want to share this journey with them. Be warm and inviting. Let them know that it's a safe space to post anything that comes to mind. If someone stops chiming in, often this is the first sign of falling off the wagon. The last stage, and probably the most important to note, is to keep them engaged once their challenge group has ended. After your customers have completed your challenge group, it's time for you to educate them on the next stages of their Beachbody journey. Here's how I like to keep people engaged in a group or continuing on Shakeology. We all know as coaches that Shakeology is a lifelong product and goes way beyond just the challenge group. I invite my challengers to stay on Home Direct by citing many of the long-term effects that I know Shakeology is having in my life and the life of my customers. I find that many people need to be reminded that Shakeology is not a weight loss product, but a wellness product. Another way to keep people engaged with our products if they haven't reached their goal yet is to invite them into another group. Some of my best challengers have participated in multiple groups. The other option for getting people engaged in our products and the opportunity is recommending they become a Beachbody coach. The best coaches you will find will be in your challenge group. When I see someone who is leading by example and truly enjoying this process and journey, I write them privately and ask, have you ever considered doing what I do? I think you would be a natural. This is often a great way to segue into sharing more about the coaching opportunity. The next thing I like to do is share a tool. I like to send people to a live opportunity presentation or a recorded version of one. You can also use a video in the online office, like Introducing Team Beachbody, so that they can understand a bit more about what coaching is all about. I find the best way to talk about coaching is over a one-on-one -on -one call. Tell them why you've been so inspired by their journey and contribution, and ask them what they loved most about the event they attended or the video they watched. Keep the dialogue open and answer their questions. Lead with heart. And if they feel inspired to coach too, you will know it from your call. Those were great tips from three coaches with proven records of success. Hey, and speaking of success, we definitely need to give a shout out to all of our coaches who participated in the February Team Beachbody Cup. There were over 2,800 teams, 14,000 coaches, and over 112,000 success club points that were racked up. But here is something even more impressive. Of all the coaches who qualified for Success Club in February, 70% of them participated on a Team Cup team. Now, I know that many of you achieved and even exceeded what you thought you could do. Now you know what you can do and know that if you keep that up every month, your business will grow and grow and grow. So congratulations to everyone that participated and big congratulations to our winning team, the Gretzkys. Now the Gretzkys were definitely the team to beat, but they came back for a repeat. Team captain Emily Robidas took it into high gear from the start and resurrected the dream team with Danny Basque, Anique Drouin, Stephanie Dumont, and Amélie Santonge. They'll be coming back to Southern California for some fun in the sun and another celebrity workout, this time with none other than Mr. Tony Horton. And of course, their names will get another spot on this shiny cup. Oh, beautiful. 
One thing that definitely helped all of our Team Beachbody coaches have success was the fact that we had some great product promotions going on that they could share with their customers. Well, we have so many product promotions going on this month and next month leading into summer that you should have no trouble inviting people to your challenge groups. First is the Focus T25 Challenge Pack, which is $180 this month. And the Brazil Butt Lift Challenge Pack is $140. Both are available through April. Since we're about 60 days to summer, these are ideal programs to recommend to new customers. And also happening this month and leading into May is spring cleaning with Carl and Isabel. From April 16th through May 6th, CEO Carl Deichler and his wife, Isabel Deichler, will focus on the Beachbody Ultimate Reset, our 21-day nutrition program that practically reboots your system to the natural balance your body was born with. And during the month of April, all of our Ultimate Reset products are discounted, including the Ultimate Reset Challenge Pack, which earns you success club points. Now this program of healthy eating is great to get your customers on before they start any workout program. And don't forget to check out Carl and Isabel's webinars as they go through the Ultimate Reset with you. Now, I want to take a second and talk about the Beachbody Challenge Contest. Starting this month, we're kicking off a new Beachbody Challenge Contest where you and your customers can enter your success stories and win daily, monthly, and quarterly prizes, and even the big $100,000 prize that will be awarded at the 2015 Summit. But the Beachbody Challenge Contest is about more than just winning prizes. The stories that emerge from the contest are proof that what we do at Team Beachbody and what you do as coaches are truly changing lives. Now, as a coach, every time you have a customer or, or a downline coach submit a success story, you are building your brand. Now, I remember hearing Shalene Johnson talk about what really convinced Carl that he should work with her. Now, she had a binder filled with before and after stories that showed that she wasn't just talk, she had the proof that she was getting people results and that created amazing power for her brand. Now as a coach, you really need to do the same thing. If you are not encouraging your challenge group members to submit to the contest, you are missing a huge opportunity to build your personal brand as a coach. And if you don't believe me, let's hear from a coach who has really leveraged the Beachbody Challenge Contest and had said just a little bit of success himself. Now I'm talking about two-time top coach, Wayne Wyatt. Now Wayne has personally sponsored 24 different thousand dollar winners. He sponsored more winners than any other coach and has earned a total of $13,000 in coach prizes alone. But most important, he has helped a ton of people change their lives for the better. Well, I'm really excited to be talking today about the Beachbody Challenge because, you know, when it comes to engaging people in fitness, nutrition, getting them results and getting them inspired to pay it forward, really the Beachbody Challenge has been just an awesome part of what we as coaches can offer those that we're coaching because giving them something to shoot for, a goal, a a, a reward that they're shooting for is just, it's a perfect incentive. Um, so I've always made a big deal about letting people know right away when I'm assigned as their coach that they have a chance not only to get healthy and fit, but to win some stuff along the way. So that gets them motivated to keep pushing play when they're sore, to keep eating right and following the nutrition guide when they're tempted. Um, but then as they get to know these other people, then the recognition piece is really important to them because they they like to be you know recognized by Carl Deichler and and have their pictures up on TeamBeachBody.com. That's a big deal, and and I always make a big deal about it within my within my challenge groups and within my other groups as well, just to to highlight those people that are succeeding because as those people see that it's not just one person, it's not just their coach that's succeeding, it's their peers that are succeeding. Then that really starts a snowball effect, and and you know I've I've just been really fortunate and blessed to see so many people that I've coached you know, win Beach Body Challenge daily, uh, monthly uh, winners, quarterly winners. I've seen uh, people that I've coached then uh, turn around and inspire others to do the Beach Body Challenge, and they've won. And 
You know, a, a really neat story I have is one of the guys I coached, Sean Swisher, won the Beach Body Challenge. He then coached um, a guy he knows named Adam Kohlberg, who won the Beach Body Challenge, who then got his dad uh, engaged in the system, and he won the entire year Beach Body Challenge in Las Vegas last year. Um, and so it's just it's so cool to see that ripple effect, and it all starts with giving them an incentive to to plug in, to engage, and to to go after a goal and then you can continue to shoot for that you don't have to you know wait 90 days or 180 days or a year to submit for the beach body challenge a month into it if you've lost some weight tell them your story i mean stories are what inspire people so i encourage them submit for the for the uh, beach body challenge maybe they pick you maybe they don't then push harder the next month submit again because you can submit for the beach body challenge over and over again and your, and the stories that people read on there are just so inspiring. And, and so it's just, it's awesome. And it's such, it's such a blessing when we see the people that we've encouraged to do it, going out there and, and seeing their goals realized. Our business is about helping people achieve results they never thought were possible. And it happens one person at a time. But where you really see the cumulative impact of these results is at Summit. What an incredible experience. Throughout the year, we continually share great business tips through the national wake-up call, the surge, regional meetings, and all those kinds of offerings. But Summit is like the mother load. All the best and the most successful leaders are there sharing in one place. Not to mention all the recognition, celebration, networking, and the opportunity to recalibrate your goals and to commit to dig deeper. What's offered there you can't get anywhere else. And this year won't disappoint. In addition to the exciting reveals from the main stage, there'll be motivational keynote speakers, Diana Nyad and Darren Hardy, and over 22 hours of business training workshops, including Chris Hogan of the Dave Ramsey organization. And last but not least, a chance to finally break out your sequined dress. As we do every year at Summit, we recognize Consistency and Success Club. By achieving Success Club 10 in the months of April and May, you'll qualify for the exclusive Sequins and Studs party at Summit. Am I passionate about you attending Summit? You know it. Why? Because I know what the return on your investment can be. And let me also share this. You don't need a new wardrobe. We don't care how you get there or where you stay or how many you stay with. You know, within reason but it's just important that you're there. And by the way, to remind you, we'll be launching a new fitness program at Summit from one of our most popular trainers. So to whet your appetite, take a look at this. Who says you have to jump, grunt, strain, and punish yourself to get results from a workout? You can really get an incredible workout. You don't have to beat yourself up. And who says you can only get the benefits of Pilates and yoga by holding long, intense poses? You are going to look so good. Introducing Pio, a fitness breakthrough that fuses the muscle sculpting benefits of Pilates with the core strengthening and stretching benefits of yoga. But don't expect to stand still and just hold poses. Pio speeds everything up, including the results. Pio has significantly changed the shape of my body. Pio's dynamic flowing sequences deliver a serious calorie burn at the same time that it lengthens, tones, and increases flexibility. I am a mother of two, and Pio has really leaned me up and defined my abs in ways that I have never seen. And one of the best things is that these workouts sculpt and define your body with no weights and no equipment. It's one of the most challenging strength building workouts I've ever done. I'm literally drenched in sweat, and I haven't touched a weight today. We're not using weights, we're using our own weights. Not only are there no weights, but Pio is low impact, which means you'll burn off excess fat, get more defined, and help alleviate aches and pains created by age or other workout programs. I got injured about a year ago. I couldn't do any exercises where I had to run or jump, so I started religiously doing Pio. Not only did my injury get healed quicker, but I lost 15 pounds. Change your body, sculpt your body, and be kind to your body. Pio is a low impact workout that delivers incredibly visible results to people of all ages and all fitness levels. I'm 47 and I'm in the best shape of my life because of Pio. Pio hits every single muscle. I got muscles in places I never knew I had. We are going to define your body. Coaches, we started the year off very strong, and in order to keep up this momentum, 
We must stay consistent in our activities and engaged in our people. As Melanie showed us, you first must attract people to you and what you stand for. As Amber shared, starting challenge groups may be the best way to connect people to our products and to stay engaged in healthy behaviors. And probably the most important part of all is keeping them engaged through consistent follow-up. As Lindsay shared, consistent follow-up shows your customers you care more about them than in the sale. Our business is about helping people change their lives. That's what we do every day. And although we're now over 150,000 coaches strong, those changes happen one at a time. And each one of those represents a unique story. Stories of triumph, achieving personal goals, overcoming hardship, stories of never giving up in order to achieve those goals. I'm sure many of you have your own story that has been life-changing and that would inspire us. I want to take a moment and celebrate one particular coach who has had that life-changing experience with Beachbody. This is her story. I'm Amy Silverman. I'm 28 years old and I'm from Portland, Oregon. I've always struggled financially. I was a waitress and a student pretty much my whole life. The worst part about being a waitress, you start to feel like you can't do anything else. I was drinking and going out and doing drugs. My whole life was falling apart. My parents pretty much stopped helping me financially at that point. I just always thought I'd be taken care of. Everything just kept like getting worse and worse and worse. Every night at the end of like a 13 hour shift, we'd eat a lot of pizza, a lot of dairy. I developed cystic acne from the environment and the stress and the food and I ballooned up to a size 12. I was calling myself fat every day and my acne got so bad that it was painful. Well, I remember one day I wanted to get fish and chips and it was our last $10 and we got the fish and chips and I remember the fries were super soggy and the fish was like nasty and I got so frustrated that I threw it and I just made this huge scene because <laughs> it was our last 10 bucks. I was stressed out about my body and my health and we couldn't afford any food and I couldn't do anything. It's like the hardest time of my life. There was a girl on Facebook and we were both supporting each other on our weight loss journeys. Uh, she was trying different things and I was going to the gym. She mentioned she was a coach, but she was just really trying to lose weight. Six months after we had both started, she posted a transformation photo and she had lost 30 pounds. I was floored by her results. She had done Power 90 and P90X with Shakeology. And I was just like, I want to do that. And she was like, well, you're probably in too good a shape for Power 90, so let's get you started on P90X. The support of the community and the coach was huge for me. And so I finished P90X. I was feeling more confident. I was feeling stronger. Things were starting to fit better. I was noticing that people in the groups who were getting better results were drinking Shakeology. So I signed up as a coach and I committed to Shakeology and Insanity. And then it was with Shakeology and Sanity that I got down to a size two in 60 days. In 2011, I had been working all year long, hitting Success Club, working my butt off, just trying everything in my power to earn that trip to the Bahamas and make enough money to quit my job. I had put in my three months notice for the trip. So two weeks before the trip, my boss was like, yeah, we're not gonna be able to give you the time off, sorry. And at that point, I had started to see my potential with the business. So I went in and I was like, you know what? I quit. It felt really good. It felt really empowering. It was just one of those things that you always want to do, but you can't because you're stuck. That week, I went full-time Beachbody and it wasn't until I got to the Success Club trip that I really started to see like what Beachbody was. And I started seeing the potential. And it was when I came back from that that I started really making big goals with the company. It'll be three years in April that I started working the business. I've had the same car that I had in high school up until like a couple months ago. <laughs> and Beachbody finally afforded us to be able to buy a car. And I never ever thought in a million years that I would ever own a luxury vehicle. What has really changed in my life has been the freedom to do whatever I want, whenever I want. I don't have to answer to a boss. That's the best. You can just be you and travel and do whatever you want. And it's just been really rewarding. Hey, it's Carl, and this has been an incredible Super Saturday. Just like this has been an incredible cruise 
aboard the Liberty of the Seas. But hey, right now we are surrounded by an outrageous weather front. Lightning, thunder, they had to clear the decks. That's what cruising can be like, that's what life can be like, and that's the theme of never give up. They're not shutting down the boat, we're not stopping sailing, we're gonna continue right through this front just like you never give up with your business. Business, just like fitness, just like diet, requires you to get over obstacles, headwinds, thunderstorms, whatever sort of resistance could hold your business back, the theme of Summit this year is about getting you to focus on never giving up. Here's the thing about not giving up. Let's say you decided that this thunderstorm was too much, we're turning the boat around. Well, at the end of the day, sometime, reality is gonna come right back in and you're gonna realize, I really wanted to be on that cruise. I really wanted to lose that weight. I really wanted to feel more energetic, like I was feeding my body well. I really wanted to be creating wealth and health at the same time. It sounds like they're signaling here in the ship that it's time for you to recommit. And beyond that, recommit your entire team. Never giving up means that despite the headwinds, you keep pushing forward. Because you don't wanna 30 days from now, 60 days from now, 90 days from now, have to restart. That's the worst possible situation to be in. You fight through these headwinds. You make things happen. We've heard from a bunch of coaches. We've heard what it takes to invite, to engage with people. Now it's your turn to pass that information on to your coaches. Coaches that couldn't make it Super Saturday and new coaches who you want to have be great success starters. But it's up to you. Now you've got to take this information out. You've got to get people psyched up for summer. We've got Two months till the big summer season happens. Take advantage of the specials and get people healthy and fit. Thank you for coming to Super Saturday. Love what you do, Team Beachbody. Keep up the great work. One, two, three. So everybody, ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Everybody have a great time. Have you seen Michael? I haven't seen him anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I, um, we needed some shots of him in the Shakeology suit outside of the boat. I know, the weather's not the best, but I, we just needed to get him. I mean, did so, you hear the thunder and lightning out there? Yeah, but I told him to wear rubber shoes. I love there be more people in line for a photo. You know, you've always been my favorite. <laughs> That's what I like most about you. It You're really a good choice of character. Well, I know. Hey, where are Carl and Jack? Thank you so much. Yeah. I think the Shakeology suit is actually waterproof. Then he's good. Yeah, his head's out of it. Here's to us and to Michael, wherever he is.